আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর বুলবুল হোসেন শুভ অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ কমিউনিটি মেডিসিন ইন বসুন্ধরা আদ্দিন মেডিকেল কলেজ টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু বি ডেলিভার্ড এ প্রেজেন্টেশন অন কলেরা দ্য ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড অফ কলেরা কলেরা ইজ আ গ্রিক ওয়ার্ড হুইস মিন্স দ্য গাটার অফ দ্য রুট ইট ইজ কজড বাই এ ব্যাকটেরিয়া নোন অ্যাজ ভিব্রিও কলেরি হুইস ওয়াজ ডিসকভার্ড ইন এইটিন এইটি থ্রি বাই রবার্ট কস ডিউরিং ডায়রিয়াল আউটব্রেক ইন ইজিপ্ট ভিব্রিও কলেরি হ্যাজ টু মেজর বায়োটাইপ ক্লাসিক্যাল অ্যান্ড ইআই টর হুইস ওয়াজ ফার্স্ট আইসোলেটেড ইন ইজিপ্ট ইন নাইনটিন ফাইভ কারেন্টলি ইআই টর ইজ পি ডমিনেন্ট কলেরা প্যাথোজেন ইন ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়াইড হট ইজ ভিব্রিও কলেরি দি অর্গানিজম ইজ আ গ্রাম শেপ কমা শেপ গ্রাম নেগেটিভ অ্যারোবিক ব্যাসিলাস হুজ সাইজ ভ্যারিজ ফ্রম ওয়ান টু থ্রি মিলিমিটার ইন লেন্থ বাই পয়েন্ট ফাইভ টু পয়েন্ট এইট মিলিমিটার ইন ডায়ামিটার ইট ইজ অ্যান্টিজেনিক স্ট্রাকচার কনসিস্ট অফ ফ্লাজলার এইস অ্যান্ড ফ্লাজলার এইস অ্যান্টিজেন অ্যান্ড সোমাটিক ও অ্যান্টিজেন epidemiology of cholera since 1817 there were seven cholera pandemics first six occurred from 1817 to 1923 and there were caused by vivid cholera the classical biotype the pandemic originated in asia with subsequent spread to other continents The seven pandemic began in Indonesia in 1961 and affected more continents and countries to others which was previously six pandemics. It was caused by Vibrio Colleri E.I. Todd. In 1992, an epidemic of cholera emerged from Madras which is currently known as Chennai in India. in India as a result of new serotype. Some experts regard this as eight pandemic. This Bengal strain has now spread throughout Bangladesh, India and neighboring countries in Asia. The number of cholera patients in worldwide is uncertain because many cases are unreported. The number of cases is increased during epidemic and is affected by environmental factors. In 1994, 94 countries reported 385,000 cases of cholera to WHO, but number reported in 1998 was 121,000. In uh, 98, 89% of these cases were reported from Africa. Pathogenesis, the Vibrio cholera cause clinical disease caused by producing an enterotoxin that promote the secretion of fluid and electrolytes into the lumen of the gut. The result is watery diarrhea and electrolyte concentration isotonic to this of plasma. The enterotoxin acts locally and does not invade the intestinal wall. As a result, few WBCs and there were no RBC are found in the stool. Fluid losses originated in duodenum and upper jejunum. The ileum is less affected. The colon is usually in a state of absorption because it is relatively insensitive to the enterotoxin. The large volume of fluid produced in the upper intestine, however, absorptive capacity of lower bowel which is result in severe diarrhea. Here has a pathophysiology in a chart, secretion of enterotoxin, enterotoxin bind with intestinal cell, cloid channel activated, release large volume of quantities electrolytes and bicarbonate, then fluid hypersecretion leads to diarrhea and dehydration. Transmission. Cholera is transmitted by fecal oral route by water and fluid. Person to person infection is rare 
Vibrio cholera is the salt water organism and it is primarily habitat is the marine ecosystem. The cholera has two main reservoirs that is man and water. Animal do not play with the role of transmission with this disease. Vibrio cholera is unable to survive in an acidic medium. Therefore, any condition that reduce gastric acid production increase and risk of aqua system. The re, uh, what are the vulnerable group or risk group? All ages but children and elderly are more severely affected. Subject with the blood group of O are more susceptible, but cause is totally unknown subject with reduced gastric acid. Clinical picture, incubation period is 24 to 48 hours, sy sy uh, symptom begins with the sudden onset of watery diarrhea which may followed by vomiting, fever is typically absent. The diarrhea has fishy odor in the beginning, but became less smelly and more watery over time. The classical textbook rice watery diarrhea which is described fluid stool with very little fecal materials which is apparently by 24 hours from the start of illness. In severe cases stool volume exceed 250 milliliter per kg leading to severe dehydration shock and death is uncertain. Cholera in children, breastfeeding uh, infants are protected, symptoms are severe and fever is frequent, shock, drowsiness and coma are uncommon, so, uh, sorry uh, uh, coma is common. Hypoglycemia is recognized and which may lead to convulsion. Rotavirus infection may give similar picture and need to be excluded. Laboratory findings, organism can be seen in stool by direct microscopy after gum stain and dark fluid illumination is used to be demonstrate of this motility. Cholera can be cultured on a special alkaline media which is known as triple sugar agar media. Serologic tests are available to define stains, but this is needed when during epidemics to trace the source of infection. Other laboratory findings, dehydration leads to high blood urea and serum ketamine. Hematokit and WBC will also be high due to be hemoconcentration. Dehydration and bicarbonate loss in stool leads to metabolic acidosis with anion gap. Total body potassium is decreased, but serum level may be normal due to effect of acidosis. Treatment, the primary goal of therapy is refill fluid loss caused by diarrhea and vomiting. Fluid therapy is accomplished by two phases, rehydration and maintenance. Rehydration should be completed in 4 hours and maintenance of fluid should be replaced ongoing losses and provide daily requirement. The goal of drug therapy are to eradicate infection, reduce mor mor morbidity and prevent complication. The drugs we can be used tetracycline, doxycycline, cotimoxazole and ciprofloxacin. For children, erythromycin and cotrimoxazole can be used and this was the drug of choice. Drug therapy reduces volume of stool and shortens period of hospitalization. It is only needed for few days that means 3 to 5 days. Drug resistance has been described in some areas. The choice of antibiotic should be guided by the local resistance patterns. Antibiotic should be started when cholera is suspected without waiting lab confirmation. Com complication, the if dehydration is not corrected adequately, 
it can be lead to hypovolemic shock and lead to acute renal failure and death. Electrolyte imbalance is common, hypoglycemia occurs in children, complication of therapy like of, uh, overhydration and side effects of drug therapy are rare. Public health aspects, isolation and barrier nursing is indicated, notification of the case to local authorized and WHO, test source of infection, resume feeding with normal diet when vomiting has stopped and continue breastfeeding infants and young children. Prevention of cholera, education of hygiene practice, provision of safe and uncontaminated drinking water to the people, antibiotic prophylaxis to household contacts of index cases, vaccin vaccination. Cholera vaccine, previously old vaccine injectable was used, but currently this is not using that because uh, it is known that uh, there has no effective on cases. Two new oral vaccine are available from 1997, a killed and live attenuated vaccine uh, are using of that type of vaccines. Both provoke local immune response in the gut and blood immune response. Cholera vaccination is no more required for international travelers because risk is small. Cholera has a great public health concern and known as father of public health. To control of cholera, we have to maintain hygiene properly. This was my discussion about cholera. Next week, I will come with another new topics. Thank you.